Well, welcome to our Christmas service 2020. Things are a little different this year, a bit unexpected, uh, but we hope that you enjoy this service as much as you would have done if it was live in the cathedral. It's great to be back in this building. I haven't been in since March, and it's wonderful to see it again. Those of you in Year 7 have never seen it inside the cathedral, and we look forward to bringing you in at some point. Our theme today is expected and unexpected, and we're going to talk about Christmas around those things. One of the things the Jewish people back in the first century were expecting was God to act. These are the words from Isaiah that start the Christmas service. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary, who was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favoured woman, the Lord is with you. Mary was confused and scared. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her. You are to have a son, God's chosen one, the son of the Most High. Mary asked the angel, But how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and by the power of God you will have his Son, for nothing is impossible with God. Chosen one from God. 
And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
There were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them. The glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go down to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he assembled the chief priests and scribes, and asked them where the Christ child was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, as it is written by the prophet, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by